five, four, three, two, one. Only is go. <laughs> <laughs> G'day and welcome back to the channel. This is part six of my 1930 Model A pickup build. If you haven't seen the other ones, go back and watch them. There is a playlist. You should be able to find that pretty easily. And if you're new to the channel, basically I've got a 1930 Model A pickup cab, 32 firewall, and I'm running a 32, let me spin the camera around, commercial 1932 chassis. She'll have a side valve V8, which is out of a 37, I think, my side is. And um, she's going to be a bit of fun. This kind of stuff isn't new to me. This is how I like to build stuff from scratch. So let's get into this. I've done a fair bit since the last video. Let's show you what I've got into. So in the last video, I was struggling to get this thing all sorted out on the chassis. So what I decided to do was take it off the chassis, build it on the floor, and then we can stick it back up in the chassis, get it mounted. And yesterday I spent a fair bit of time chewing up the chassis. I welded the doors to the back part of the cab, just so everything's where it needs to be. And I've started to brace it up. Um, we've got braces through the bottom on both sides. I've also used the lower mounts off the 1930 inside there and then mounted them to the 32 firewall there so we'll use those um, from here I've got to brace it sideways now what I did have to do we had trouble with the door lining up um, which I showed you in the last video I've got that to pretty much line up now but the way I did that was I had to take out it was about an inch I took a photo pulled it together and it all closed up so we should be fine now the reason I didn't film all this yesterday is because I'm working in a really confined space and it's just going to be it was going to be hard to get it all filmed properly before we do all the chassis work I've got one little last piece to do um, I need to put my back floor brace in because once I cut the doors open so they work again um, I need this sub chassis structure to hold everything in place but I won't be cutting those until um, I think it's mounted to the chassis anyway but uh, while it's here let's do that and um, no more talking poorly let's get into it Can you see how hard this is to film? This is why I didn't do any of it yesterday. One more world and um, we'll get on to other things. So, this is where things start to get a little bit more complicated, I guess. Um, I can't mount the cab to the chassis until I work out where the engine and gearbox is going to sit. And to do that, I need to do a heap of chassis work. I need to pull the motor out of that. The gearbox is in the back there somewhere. Um, so I've got to work out a plan to do that uh, and I've got limited space but it's got to be done so really I need to dismantle that car um, so it's out of the way make a bit more space in here for the chassis as soon as I can uh, once I've measured all out I need to cut the back of the chassis off the bits that I don't need 
Um, but before I do that, let's take these doors off. We'll cut the welds, take the doors off, and uh, we'll flip this thing on its side and finish welding off underneath. Let's do that, eh? So I'm happy where that is at the moment. We have a complete unit. Still needs a bit more work doing to it, but I'm not going to do any more to it until I have it mounted to, or get it to the stage where it's getting mounted to the chassis because I need accesses, I need to weld on mounting brackets and tabs and stuff like that. So next we'll uh, drag that chassis back inside, stick this on top, move it out of the way a little bit or maybe put it in a kind of the spot where we're going to need it um, because what I want to do now is replace my front um, cross member and then we're going to pinch the front chassis rails to suit this cab Righto, so that's about roughly where the cab's going to sit going on original mounting holes and um, it's nice here too because I can put a plate in here to mount that spot in the back here I can run a plate to mount it there all the way around and in the front well I trimmed off the original 32 mounts because we're completely different over here so when I put that back in, um, we'll have a spot there for the original mount there as well. So, but we're not going to do anything 
until we work out where the engine sits in relation to the cross member and front end and guards and that kind of stuff so that's not going to happen for a while but she's looking good up there I'm pretty happy with where we're at with that next job is to take this monstrosity off I don't know if I have to pinch it much because it kind of does fit in there and I don't intend on cutting the chassis rails to pinch it when I put my new cross member in I'll just pinch it basically um, we'll strap it up we'll close it up and weld it be a bit of tension on it but that's nothing unusual let's start knocking these rivets out with you I'm not enjoying the direct sunlight it's not pleasant plus it's casting shadows of darkness that I can't see a thing so it's time for a siesta and we might come out a bit later we might not but we will get into this um, cross member oh good day.